What does it look like not just to simplify the space in our home, but to live a simplified life? This book just has a lot of principles in it that have really gotten me thinking about the deeper reasons for why we hold on to things. This is the first real set of belongings where the memories attached to them are very special. Woo. I've always been a big fan of decluttering and organizing. Lately, I have been on this journey of simplifying our home. It really has felt so much deeper than just decluttering stuff and organizing the stuff that's left. It has felt very emotional. It's felt very raw. The mindset feels different. I wanted to begin to share that. I originally started just decluttering and simplifying off camera, just doing it privately for our family, not for YouTube. But I felt like these are things that might be important to share because I am finding that it is alternately easy and a relief. And then there's also times where it is very painful. There's just things that I haven't wanted to look at or think about. So this is the first video in a series that I'm going to do called Simplifying Our Home. What does it look like not just to simplify the space in our home, but to live a simplified life and to live a life that is very intentional and a life that is not crowded and overcrowded with stuff. Like I mentioned in each of these videos, it'll be a different space that I'll be going through. And the point is not to do like a makeover, like to declutter a space and then get cute organizers and then make it all Pinterest perfect or whatever. The point is to simplify. You're gonna see it as I'm pulling out things and figuring out what to do with them, figuring out not just how to clear like real estate, but the reasons for why I'm getting rid of stuff and the reasons for why I'm hanging on to the things I'm hanging on to. So I should share a couple reasons for why this has really started for me and why now. One reason has been this book, The Gentle Art of Swedish Death Cleaning by Margareta Magnusson which I know is like old news. Everybody's read this. Everybody's watched all the YouTube videos about Swedish death cleaning. So this is not gonna be a series on Swedish death cleaning. This book just has a lot of principles in it that have really gotten me thinking about the deeper reasons for why we hold on to things and why am I holding on to things. And this book, if you can see, I'm only this far through it. <laughs> So I'm not even uh, super far through it, but it has made that much of an impact on me already. So that is one reason. A second reason for pursuing this whole idea of simplifying our home is something I mentioned in an earlier video. My husband and I made an offer on a house and though we didn't get that offer accepted, the idea of moving really kickstarted me thinking about, oh my goodness, we have accumulated a lot of stuff. There is a lot of stuff to pack if we are gonna be moving in the next couple months. Do I want to carry with us everything that we've accumulated in this house? The answer is a resounding no. And so that is a second big reason. So we're not moving right now, but if that is a possibility in the next year or two, and it very well may be, I want to be in a space where we are decluttered, we are simplified, and it is not a stressful and painful process to pack our things and to move to our next home. The third reason is a change in life season and you may have experienced this yourself as well. There is a sense of these closing chapters in our life where things end and it's kind of on to the next season. For me, I accumulated a lot during that season of being pregnant, having babies, having toddlers, and I'm not sure exactly why that is, nesting instinct or what it is, but I accumulated quite a bit. And so now this is a time of parting with those things. And some of you, if you're moms and you've been through this before, you there's mixed emotions, right? Great, okay, let's get this crap out of here. For some people, it's really hard. They hold on to that stuff. They don't wanna let it go. For me, I would say it's a mix of both. There are days where I am super excited for the space. I'm super excited to pass on baby things to other people. And then there are days where it's just hard because I think this is the first real set of belongings I've had where the memories attached to them are very special 
and um <laughs> yeah Whew. sorry <laughs> simplifying is very difficult in some ways but it's also very exciting because in simplifying our home there is this sense in me of really wanting to live in the present there are wonderful things happening in our life our kids are growing and they're doing so well and my husband and i are happily married i'm so thankful and i want to be fully present and fully engaged in everything that the season has and sometimes i think to fully engage in the present it's necessary to let go of some things surrounding you from the past and i know that sounds really cheesy to i don't know how else to say it but that is definitely the place that i am in right now this is kind of the intro video if you will for this series on simplifying our home and I hope that it is helpful for you. I hope that it's encouraging. Just as a side note, the whole reason behind doing this for our family doesn't have anything to do with minimalism. <laughs> My husband and I are not minimalists. So I very intentionally use the word simplifying because to me, there's no right number of things. There's no sense of, oh, it should look exactly like this or be exactly like that. And minimalism has just become a word that has a lot of baggage attached to it, unfortunately. Maybe simplifying doesn't help that much. It's not too far removed. But for me, it is a delineation from minimalism and that it's just an exercise of going through our things and really moving towards simplicity. I really don't have a set number of items in mind for particular categories or anything like that. What I am looking for is room to breathe, really. When I open a drawer, it's not stuffed. When I open a cupboard, there's not things crammed inside. It's not having a closet that is crammed full of clothes, but really everything in our home having room to breathe. That's why I'm not going to be talking about things like a specific number of items for specific categories or whatever. Nothing wrong with that. I think that's great. And for those that want to do that, that's awesome. But for me, this is a mental shift. This is a mental attitude of simplifying rather than rules and guidelines of how it's supposed to look. Like and subscribe if you're interested in following along on this journey and I will see you in the next video. Bye. You, you always find me here when the world thinks that I've disappeared